outside of that. But yeah, the pendant, slide, keychain, keychain and, and pin, slide, keyring, pin, gift box set, cufflinks, tie bar, and cufflinks and tie bar set. And boy, you'd look good showing up on New Year's Eve with some Zoso cufflink, cufflinks, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you? And tie bar as well. Ooh. Uh, the Robert Plant symbol, the feather, circle with a feather. There's a necklace, keychain, cufflinks. John Paul Jones symbol, necklace, keychain, cufflinks, bonzo symbol. Uh, John Paul Jones is the Celtic one. Bonzo's is the three circles, right? Uh, the pendant, cufflinks, keychain. There's a page and plant. That's um, the feather. Yeah, I forget how it is, but it's it's specific to page and plant, right? Pendant and a keychain. There's also the swan song, the... Uh, the uh, uh, well, the guy with the wings, uh, pendant in the keychain as well. They have some guitar ones, right? The the double neck keychain, Les Paul cufflinks and tie clip set, Les Paul key ring, Les Paul pendant. Um, so it, it's quite a nice. Uh, again, it, they're called Candy Store Rock Gift. Search them. They're on eBay. Uh, he's listed as Bronx Bomber on eBay, and they have all sorts of stuff. Um. Um, uh, uh, on Amazon and um, and eBay is HK Collectibles Inc. Run by a guy who listens to this show, who, who contacts me quite often, uh, Daryl Albert. Uh, on eBay, he's Zoso11782. And the easiest way to get it, just go ebay.com slash USR slash Zoso11782. It's probably the easiest way to get to it. But anyway, the HK Collectibles Inc., and they have uh, all sorts of collectibles. He does have specifically um, Jimmy Page and the Black Crows tour book, um, a, a copy of Sonic Boom, the Frank Redden book, uh, in Ze the Encyclopedia, uh, a Plant Krauss tour book, a 75 tour shirt, and some other tees. Uh, and he's got some ticket stubs. Um, and specifically, he's got um, one for one nine sixty nine. Uh, so. January 9th, 69, one for August 23rd, 1970, and uh, one for the firm in Houston, uh, Houston and Austin in March 85, so it's kind of two tickets on the same thing. Um, conversely, Rick Barrett, Rick Barrett runs a, a site called uh, Zepp Collectible, Zeppelin Collectibles, it's at zeppelincollectibles.com, and uh, Rick has... Uh, um, the big thing for fifteen hundred dollars, you'll want to get this frame. So call it sixteen fifty. But um, Death Wish Two Japanese promotional poster. It has Jimmy Page on it. Instead of being, you know, the Death Wish Two with the, the album cover with Charles Bronson, it has Jimmy Page on. Um, it's it's almost two by three feet. It's twenty three and a half inches by thirty three inches. And there may be only maybe the only one in existence. He says that's it. This may be the only one. So, <laughs> so that's but it's fifteen hundred dollars for a poster at the same time. But anyway, um, don't like the Zeppelin fan in your family that much. Well, how about um, Jimmy Page signed cashmere lyric sheets? The lyric sheets got all the typed out, and Jimmy Page just signed it quite boldly. Two hundred dollars would look great on the wall in a frame too. But even if you don't love the Zeppelin fan in your family that even that much. Um, I, and I mentioned, I alluded to this earlier. I bought myself a couple of Outrider promo, uh, pictures, eight by 10 glossies. They come in a promo package. Um, I bought two of them. You, you know, I only have, I like to say I have no room here anyway, but, um, you know, there was a number of them, but I bought two and it came to $13 with shipping. <laughs> so, you know, knock yourself out on that one. It's, uh, you know, it's just like the price of eight tracks. But he has a whole range of Led Zeppelin collectibles at zeppelincollectibles.com. It's always changing, and the Led Zeppelin fan in your world will love love it. Um, how about this for an idea? Some tickets to go see Get the Lead Out if you're on the East Coast, or your local tribute band. Who's There's different ones doing it. Um, they, they would like that, you know? Um, um, on eBay, I, I, I just searched Led Zeppelin on eBay and I came up with, I like this one, Swan Song Panties. Go actually search women's clothing Led Zeppelin 
and uh, swan song panties and an oversized women's shirt. So if, the, if you're um, your Led Zeppelin fans, a woman, nice little panties, a shirt that goes be great pajamas for. Her. Um, tickets to the ticket stub to the New York premiere of Celebration, and I actually laughed at this. The ticket is signed by quote unquote the man in the lobby. <laughs> Some guy in the lobby. Would you sign me? But anyway, it's signed and it's uh, uh, I forget what it costs, but. Uh, and then John Paul Jones, a character comic. There's a con you know comic books out there. It's Led Zeppelin's John Paul Jones, and it kind of tells his history. And that's on eBay right now. Um, Fine Art America has uh, Led Zeppelin paintings and artworks. So I've talked a lot about artwork and whatnot, but um, but if you just search Led Zeppelin painting on eBay, you'll find all sorts of stuff. But Fine Art America specifically has some. You can get the Jimmy Page action figures slash figurines. Um, I got one with the double neck. I know of three different ones. There might be more. There's also a John Bonham one. Uh, could not find Robert or John Paul Jones. Robert is an action figure, though, right? He's not. You don't get an action figure. He is an action figure. Okay, so, so far, we've had a few ideas, but nothing really out there. You want some, You want to spend some money on the person you love. You just won the lottery, and they need something special. How about this one? From Gibson Guitars, a Jimmy Page number 2 model Les Paul. Handcrafted recreation of pages 59 with a sunburst finish under the pick guard pull pull switches, push pull pots, uh, Jimmy Page burst bucker pickups, um, and etc. It just goes on and on and on. It's so many features. Um, I've actually played one of these puppies. Uh, Paul um, uh, Paul Hammond from Get the Let Out has one and let me kind of noodle on it. That, I'd say I played it, I noodled on it. But what a sweet, sweet, sweet guitar. Uh, you can get the Led Zeppelin note for note uh, tab books um, for for the guitar player in your family too. So and they're they're quite accurate. I think it's Alfred Publishing does them. Alfred also did one called Learn to Play uh, Led Zeppelin, and it's a beginner's book. And instead of the usual, and I talked about it at length a number of times last Christmas. Instead of the usual beginner's book where you play orally and um, you know, guitar boogie and all these. Uh, songs and old McDonald and stuff it's done same style same sort of thing but it's done with Led Zeppelin songs and uh, they go through them the melodies and they, they just build up your playing style uh, and and it's quite a good little guitar learning a guitar book especially if you have a, a young younger person learning the guitar all right and we get to my once a year kind of uh, step outside of the music side of things and uh, uh, we'll talk about well not politics uh, but close really one of those things that can be that way but anyway um, if you're looking for to do something charitable do something nice instead of buy a gift for the person do something in their name for instance uh, here's a couple of things a couple of things going on right now uh, a company called Shoko who, who put on the production for a lot of bands in the 70s, including Led Zeppelin, a band out of Texas. They're trying to get a book published, and they need funds. So they are they are looking for, you can go to, just go show code the book, Google that. You can donate to help them put this project together. The other one is the John Bonham Memorial Fund. Um, and they're, they're not up and running for donations as of yet, or at least as of uh, two days ago, uh, last time I checked. Keep your eye on rambleonradio.com. I will as soon as I'm keeping an eye on it. And as soon as they have that that process together. And uh, as we talked about about two months ago here, they are raising money to create a statue of John Bonham in his hometown of Redditch. Um, charitably speaking, and uh, I mean that actually, um, here's some causes that the band themselves support. Uh, and I found this website called Look to the Stars, the World of Celebrity Giving. You can look for s different celebrities, uh, and they list um, our boys Robert and Jimmy, um, and Led Zeppelin specifically as well, uh, although everything I mention here will be. So these aren't charities that are supported by those guys. ABC Trust, which is Jimmy's charity itself, the Ahmed Erdogan Education Fund, which um, if you went to the concert in 2007, you know about 
AIDS Memorial Campaign, Child Line, Mount Sinai Hospital, Music Cares, Racehorse Sanctuary, and Task Brazil. That's Jimmy. Robert supports Amit Ardergan Education Fund, Grammy Foundation, K9 Connection, Killing Cancer, Cancer, Mount Sinai Hospital, Music Cares, Nordoff Robbins, Racehorse Sanctuary, and Teen Cancer America. Now, Teen Cancer America was a uh, was, was he did that last year with Roger Daltrey. Uh, we talked about it a bit here. Um, and it was a uh, uh, well, it's for teenagers with cancer. They were doing a, he was doing the the Teenage Cancer Trust, I believe, was the name of the charity in Britain, and they've created a an LA based American one, and that's Teen Cancer America. And Robert Plant supports that one quite heavily. All right, and then there's mine. Um, I talked about this last year. Um, uh, the Wayne Foundation. The Wayne Foundation was started by this incredible, incredible, incredible young lady uh, called Jamie Walton. Jamie uh, was as a young, a young girl, 12, 13 years old, um, uh, found herself <laughs> being... Um, um, trafficked, as, as, as sexually trafficked within the United States. Uh, basically, she was, uh, as a young girl, she spent a lot of time on her own. Uh, mom worked all the time, that sort of thing. And she became friendly with this fellow that lives next door, moved in next door. He was older, he was in his 20s, maybe 30s. Uh, over time, they developed a sexual relationship. And then he started, he would take her away for the weekend. Um, now she's 13 years old and thinking she's just a, such the big girl, thinks it's great. They go away for the weekend and he sells her to his friends. And she spends the weekends um, being prostituted. And this goes on. They went on for a number of years. Uh, so eventually Jamie got out and, and she actually met with um, film director Kevin Smith. Um, and and is the in essence, the story came out, and he said to her, "You need to start a chair. You need to do something, right? You need to start this foundation." But if you ever, in, and there is a podcast out there, Kevin Smith's podcast of Jimmy Walton. She's on a few other ones, and she's astoundingly upbeat, astoundingly little girlish sounding, almost. And I don't mean that in a negative way, um, you know. But just, just her mannerisms and stuff. She's such a sweet sounding thing unbelievable she's an unbelievably strong human being and um and now she is the president of this this and they are trying to create a home um basically a rescue shelter for girls for young children for children who are being sexually trafficked sexually exploited um and the way and here quote unquote the wayne foundation is committed to spreading awareness of commercial sex sexual exploitation of children Domestic minor sexual trafficking occurring within the United States. And if you thought those things aren't happening in the United States, you need to hear Jamie Walton's story. Um, and I, I just adore her. She's so... She's just so amazing. Really, really amazing. And um, and so that's the charity that I kind of mention every year. Um but there you go. That's that's it. That's uh, that's as far as I go as in terms of doing that sort of thing goes. Um, do your own look. Do your own research into any charity you donate to. Uh, make sure they're good ones. Um, those are just suggestions uh, based on the band and myself. Um, the first bunch of the band, the last one myself. Um, check out the Wayne Foundation if you're interested. Uh, WayneFDN.org is the website and um and they are doing a crowd rise holiday challenge they are trying to raise some money right now um kind of doing a um a, um anyway they're doing a fundraising push right now so wayne foundation that's it uh, merry christmas everybody i will be back next week if jimmy page plays tomorrow night probably that's what i'll be talking about um but who knows? And if he doesn't, it's it's getting time where we have to talk about Robert Plant's movies. Um, so if you find yourself on the Facebook page, I'd love to hear what you're thinking of Robert Plant's movies. Um, if you've been watching them, we're four into it now. I haven't watched the fourth one yet. 
Um, but I, that's, you know,